Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In this short video, it will discuss a new security SSL TLS library, Wolf SSL. SSL TLS is a very important topic in network or I/O related project. We have a few videos discussed network communication SSL TLS examples. Talking about SSL TLS, Open SSL is one of the most popular and widely used libraries. But it is not the only one. There are also other libraries available on the market. Each of them has its own special advantages. For example, in previous video discussed Crypto++ library is more C++ structure. It's compatible with C++11, C++17. Instead, OpenSSL is more C libraries. In this short video, it will introduce another SSL TLS library. Wolf SSL. Wolf SSL is an embedded TLS library for applications, devices, and the cloud. The Wolf embedded TLS library is a lightweight, portable C language-based SSL TLS library targeted at a standard embedded and uh, RTOS environment primarily because it is a size, speed, and a feature set. It uh, works seamlessly in desktop, enterprise, and uh, cloud environment as well. Wolf library has an open SSL compatibility layer and it is up to 20 times smaller than open SSL offers API uh, open SSL compatible layers. Wolf SSL TLS library can be downloaded from Wolf website. It offers both open source and uh, commercial license. To download Wolf SSL TRS library, first you have to put contact information, select which product you download, and in this demo we have download Wolf SSL 5.7.4 zip. Here on our Ubuntu Linux, we have download the file Wolf SSL 5.7.4.zip. Here is the steps to download and install Wolf SSL library on Linux. First, we download the file. Here is our file downloaded. Second, we just copy to a temple directory. Step 3, we we'll unzip download the file. File has been unzipped into this directory. We go to this directory and run this command configure. After configure completed, next step will be the compile. After compiled, step 7 and 8 need a login as a super user. So now we log into our super user. Last step, configure dynamic linker to our new libraries. So to check the library we installed, first we check the header file. The header file be installed under the user local include Wolf SSL. Here is the old header file installed. Library installed under the user local lib directory. Here is the library we installed. So you can see our library works well. We exit from super user. 
Here, there are two C++ TLS echo server and client program from previous video using OpenSSL libraries. And uh, we are going to adjust them, convert them using newly downloaded Wolf SSL library. First, we compile them and test them. Now our program has been compiled. The executable will be open SSL TLS client and open SSL TLS server. First, we are going to test them. To test our open SSL TLS echo server and the client, we are using two terminals. On the top terminal, we are going to run TLS echo server. The usage first argument is the power number one two three four, and the second will be the certificate, open SSL five zero nine certificate dot pem. Next one is the private key. Our SSL TRS echo server has started listening on the power number one two three four, and the bottom we are going to run our client. The usage will be the host 10.0.0.191 second argument is the power number 1234 now start our client connect to the server client send this message this is the Hui test the open SSL echo server message one and our server received this message. This is the Hui test open SSL echo server message one. Server reply back and our client received the message. This is the Hui test open SSL echo server message one byte forty six and forty six. We send another one, client send, this is a test message 2, server received, this is test message 2, byte is 22, and reply back, client received, this is message 2, byte is 22. Now we are going to create a new program. We are going to import from OpenSSL TRS server.cpp. R OpenSSL TRS server.cpp. First, we have to include header file. Here is the main function. The usage will remain the same. Three argument, part number, certificate, and the private key. Before starting Wolf SSL library has to be initialized. Function will be the Wolf SSL init. This function initializes the Wolf SSL library for use must be called once per application and before any other call to the library. End of program using Wolf SSL cleanup. This function uninitializes the Wolf library from future use. Doesn't have to be called through or free any resource used by the libraries. So copy this three lines back to our program. Return code RC. Optionally, we can set the debug on. Before exit, clean up. Power number from command line, argument 1.
Next, it's going to replace open SSL SSL CTX object to warp SSL CTX object. For open SSL to create and initialize SSL CTX object function is SSL CTX new. For warp SSL, the corresponding function will be warp SSL CTX new. This function takes one parameter, which is the warp method. There's a few methods we can choose. Warp TRS V1 server method and the Warp SSL V23 server method. The Warp SSL V23 server method function is used to indicate that the application is a server and uh, will support client connection with the protocol version from SSL 3.0 to TRS 1.3. This function allocates memory for initialize a new WORF method structure to be used when creating the SSL TRS contacts with WORF SSL CTX new functions. Copy this and I paste here. Copy this two line. Error unable to create Wolf SSL contacts. Next load certificate file from argument 2. The function for load certificate from file will be wolf ssl ctx use certificate file. This function load a certificate file into the ssl context wolf ssl ctx object. The file is provided by the file argument the format argument specifies the format type of the file, either the SSL file type ASN1 or SSL file type PEM. Copy this back to our editor, paste here. First argument is the CTX object, which is the server CTX. Second argument is the file from argument 2. And the third parameter is the format, which is the PEM format. Wolf SSL file type PEM. We delete this. RC not equal. Copy this two line to YY and paste here. Set use Wolf SSL CTX using certificate file error and next is a load private key file. Wolf SSL library load private key file function is Wolf SSL CTX use private key file. This function takes three parameters Wolf CTX object pointer, file name pointer, and the format. This function load a private key file into a SSL context. Wolf SSL CTX type. The file is provided by the file argument. The format argument specified format type of the file either be SSL file type ASN1 or SSL file type PEM. So we copy this line. We back to our editor, paste here, return code is RC equal. First parameter is the server CTX, and the second parameter is the file argument 3. File type is the PEM, delete this, copy this four line. If return code is not a Wolf SSL success, we're going to print out the message. Now we can delete line 59 to line 75. 
Next, declare and set sock IDDR object. No change using the socket create a listener object. Just change the type. Binding the listener, no change. Starting listening, there's no change. Print out. Message Wolf SSL TRS echo server started. Listening the port number, which is the port number. Then we start to do the server things. First, structure address in, length, and accept when connection come in, the type. Once accepted the listeners, initialize SSL object. To initialize Wolf SSL object, function is Wolf SSL new. This function take one parameter, which is the warp SSL CTX object pointer. This function create a new SSL session taking a already created SSL context as an input. So we copy this line back to our editor, paste here. We can delete this line and the next set fd. Set fd function will be wolf ssl set fd. This function take two parameter wolf ssl pointer and the fd file description. This function assign a file descriptor fd as the input output facility for the SSL connection. Typically, this will be the socket file descriptor. So we copy this line back to our editor. We paste here. First parameter is the SSL. Second parameter is the fd and uh, we can delete this line. Next is the SSL accept function wolf SSL accept this function take one parameter wolf SSL object pointer. This function is called on the server side and wait for the SSL client to initialize the SSL TRS handshake. When this function is called, the underlying communication channel has already been set up. Copy this three line back to our editor. SSL return code RC equal wolf SSL accept. If error, print enabled SSL handshake. Next, we are going to replace reading function will be and for the writing shut down and close FD. Next, we are going to clean the server CTX allocated memory, clean up the Wolf SSL. Finish modification and uh, convert our open SSL echo server to a Wolf SSL echo server. Before save and uh, exit, it has to remove the line of include open SSL header files. Delete these two lines and uh, we save our program. WQ. Now our program has been saved. Let's compile our program. Program has been compiled. Executable is a Wolf SSL TRS server. And uh, in order to test, we're going to compile previous videos, open SSL TRS client to test our Wolf SSL TRS server. So we compile. Open SSL TRS client. Client has been compiled. Now both have a server and the client compiled. To test our example, we're using two terminals as usual. 
on the top terminal, the host will be 10.0.0.191. We're going to running our server. The usage will be the power number, certificate, and the private key. Power number 1234. And for the certificate, we just using OpenSSL command, create one certificate called OpenSSL x509 certificate.pem and OpenSSL private key.pem. So now our Wolf SSL echo server has been started by listening on the power number 1234. Then we use some preview videos, open SSL, TRS client to test. First argument is the host 10.0.0.191, part number 1234. So now we send the message. Our client send the message to server. This is the Hui test Wolf SSL message 1 and our server received this message. This is the Hui test Wolf SSL message 1 byte 34 and the server echo back client received the message. This is the Hui test Wolf SSL message byte 34. We send another message. Client send message. This is our second test message two and our server received. This is our second test message two byte is thirty three and the server echo back to client. Client received byte thirty three. This is our second test message two. Our Wolf TLS server example can also be tested through OpenSSL command line API. The command will be host 10.0.0.191 port number 1234. Now we connect it, we send the message. This is Hui test Wolf SSL TLS server using Open SSL message one. You can see our server received message. This is Hui test Wolf TLS server using Open SSL message one, and the server reply back client received message. This is Hui Test Wolf TRS server using OpenSSL message 1, exactly same as we send. We send the second message. Our client send this is the second test message using OpenSSL message 2. We have typing error, this, so our server received. This is the second test message using OpenSSL message 2 and we have a typing error. This byte is 51. Server reply back and our client received exactly the same message as we sent. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Wish it is useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback.